Yo, what is up, guys? Uh, Liam here today, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be teaching you how to do the noise gate on OBS Studio because uh, some people don't know exactly how to set it up or anything like that. So I'm going to give you my like uh, two cents of how I do my uh, noise gate. So what I want to do is open up OBS. I know this is like a older version, but this is on my stream PC. So uh, this is on my game PC, sorry. So it's uh, not really any difference but you'll get the gist before we start anything here uh what a noise gate is is basically where you see this green bar going up and down here which is my my microphone just here um a noise gate basically uh cuts off anything coming from a microphone it's like a gate literally like a gate so you have water coming through you shut the gate no water comes through so basically this is like this on a microphone but it's with audio so when i stop talking you'll see this bar still comes up with some things here that so you see there, it's coming up with still the green bars. Now, personally, I don't do noise gates um, through through OBS anymore because I've got a DBX286S with my microphone. But um, I do know how they work on OBS software. I'd give you a little tutorial on how to do so. So what you want to do is click the little cog next to your microphone. Go to filters. And then you should be able to put up to this page here. Click the little plus icon and then go down to noise gate. You click on noise gate, press OK unless you want to name it something else. And then on here, this is where this is where people get confused because they don't know what what's what on here. This close this this close threshold, the top one here, right? So if you move this box to the side and move this OBS over here, so you can see the little bars that are here moving. So, for example, right now I've just added a noise gate, and it's just going to probably cut everything off as normal. There you go. So no background noise in there whatsoever. So with your microphone, what you want to have really is if I move this down and then this one down. You see there's still noise there if I move them down. So what you want to do is keep this bottom one, the open one, make sure it's further than the closed one. So you want to have it at least about five apart. So if I put this to about 59, say, and then I put this one to uh, 64, because that's, that's, that's five apart there. All right, next you go up a little bit more. So you put up a bit more. It's about 50. And then put this one to about 55. And there you go, let's see. No audio coming through there whatsoever. So the best thing to do is just make sure these are five digits apart because that makes kind of an open and the closed gate not too far, but not too short. So once you've got these two set up, they're, they're pretty easy to do. Just make sure when you really slide them, just put this one behind a little bit. Like maybe about that one. So obviously you're five apart again on there. Um, you're not going to hear any difference on my end because I've got everything noise gate off at the moment um, on my stream PC because I'm using, as I said, I'm using a DBX286S with my Shure N77B. So I put this back down to 57. So that's five apart just there. And then at 57 is when it opens. So any noise that goes up over minus 57, because we're in minus section, so it goes over. Anything over it, it will open. Anything below, anything 62 or below minus 62, uh, it will it will close. So the noise will come off. So as we move on to the three boxes down here, you've got the attack time, hold time, and release time. Now, if you set these all to 10, because basically this is how quick the noise gate comes into action. So you want this pretty much to be instant. Uh, so you want that to be on 10. Hold time, you want to be 10 as well. So because you don't obviously don't want the actual uh, noise gate to be like on like a, a long time after you finish talking. Because otherwise it just makes things like, you know, hold there and stuff like that. So you want to put that to 10 as well. And then also the bottom one you want 10 as well. Because you want it to release quick as well. So make sure these are all 10 so it acts quick and does what it needs to do quickly. Um, and then that's pretty much it though. So if you've got any questions to ask me, uh, feel free to leave a comment or uh, get hold of me on Twitter at The Lemonated and all my social medias will pop up on screen now I expect. But that is basically how you do that. So if you need any other tutorials on OBS with filters, etc., just give me a shout. I'll try and help you out as best as I can. Uh, but that is it for me. If you do enjoy these tutorials, please leave a like. That'd be greatly appreciated. Also, follow me over on twitch.tv slash eliminated. It'd be great to see you in the strum. I stream uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday at 1.30 p.m. Uh, that is British time. But yeah, I'll catch you all guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.